These are my astigmatism glasses. These are my head weights. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, do I have astigmatism or something wrong with my eyes? Anyways, so I was like, is something wrong with my eyes? Because I'm trying to get better. I feel like I have a problem. Aside from that business, um, I brought out the heater today, and I was like, yes, I'm bringing out the heater! <laughs> I brought it out at, like, 3 in the morning, and so that was super good. A good thing I brought out the heater. A plus. Okay. I'm going to read from the Rosary, Roses of the Prayer, The Queen of Heaven. And this is by um, Reverend Daniel A. Lord, S.J., revised by Dr. Kelly Bowring, S.T.D. So, the first joyful mystery is the Annunciation in Luke 1, 26-38. The angel, archangel, or angel, Gabriel, appears to Mary. So she saw a big angel, and he says, Hail, full of grace. And that, um, that was when she concepted Jesus Christ. The second joy for mystery is a visitation, um, of visitation between Mary and her sister Elizabeth. And that, um, Elizabeth was to bear... Um, John the Baptist, and that's found in Luke one thirty nine through fifty six, and that um, Jesus was was to be born of her, and that he would have a cousin from um, Elizabeth and Zachariah. The third joyful mystery is the Nativity, and that's in Luke two one through fourteen in Bethlehem, and. Um, he was born in a humble manger with farm animals, <laughs> and angels came to praise and cheer him up, praise him and cheer him in the world to comfort him that it was a good, his angels came that it was a good moment that he was born, um, that he was gifted to the world forever. That was the first Christmas. The fourth joyful mystery is the presentation of Jesus in the temple and when he was a baby. That's in Luke 2, 29 through 32. Because it was like a tradition, so Mary and Joseph brought Jesus to the temple. To, and Simeon got to see the baby for sure. Like he was expecting to in his, like a miracle that he would get to see um, the Savior as a baby <laughs> or the one prophesied of old, um, old times in the temple. And then the fifth joyful mystery is the finding in the temple. When he was 12 years old, Jesus, um, felt the need to speak about his father's business um, to him. So he used the Holy Ghost to talk about his father's ordeals or like the business of his father. And that was in Luke 2, 48 through 52. The fifth joyful, I mean the fifth mystery of light is Jesus' baptism in the Jordan River. So John, a good man, um, um, righteous man, baptized Jesus Christ, who wanted to um, be an example unto us that um, being baptized, it will help us to carry the Holy Ghost, have the companionship of the Holy Ghost with you to know which things are good and of good truth and good nature. The second... Um, Mystery of Light is Jesus' miracle at the wedding of Cana. Jesus' first miracle when, as he was older was that he turned water into wine at 
a wedding. And that's John 2, 1 through 12. Third joyful mystery of light is Jesus teaches the good news. And um, he announces the kingdom. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Um, so he's calling you. <laughs> and the fourth mystery of light is Jesus' transfiguration. <laughs> and on, on, a, on a mountain. And um, Jesus spoke with Moses and Eli Elijah. And bef before the Passover, Peter, Johnson, and James went to a mountain to pray. And he had, and the Father said from heaven in the sky, I guess, This is my son, my chosen, listen to him. And that's in Luke 9, 28 through 36. The fifth mystery of light is Jesus introduced the Holy Eucharist of his, to remember his body and his spirit um, to be given to him. I mean, to be given to others. In a symbol of him. Um, and that's the Eucharist. And 26, 17 through 35. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Where he suffered for the weight of our sins. Of the world. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. He was mocked at. The third sorrowful.